Amindra até hoje. É um pouco Amindra colonial. E qual é o seu nome primeiro? Drew Festini. What, um, what are you working on? I work for Ash Park here in Oregon. What okay. is Ash Park? So we make, uh, we allow people to get uh, small boards made for uh, inexpensively. So a lot of our customers are doing prototypes. They might be students or individual makers, hobbyists, or they might even be at uh, companies where um, we, we meet their needs in terms of speed and time. So uh, two-layer PCB um, takes about 12 days in the U.S. Um, and then we have free international worldwide shipping through Postal Mail. Uh, so two-layer board is $5 a square inch. So a lot of our customers basically use us for prototyping before that they go on to uh, bigger production. Or if it's just an individual product or project, you know, they might just make a, a few boards. Um, like something like this, you know, This was maybe about $20. Um, it's uh, probably three, four square inches. And this is a little badge that I made. We've got a, an OLED display here from Adafruit. And then I've got a Teensy, which is a microcontroller board. Uh, and I actually have a little capacitive touch sensor here at the bottom. So if I hold that down, it should go into a demo mode here. So this is kind of going through the Adafruit graphics library. So this is pretty much a... Uh, an example of basically a simple PCB that basically allows me to connect the microcontroller board with the with the display and have some capacitive um, sense buttons on the bottom. And it is a work in progress that I just put together this so I put it together this morning before I came to the conference. So it's, it's not quite as good of a shape as it will be. Um, what do you use with open hardware? Would you like open hardware? So I like open hardware because it allows people to build upon the work of others. So, um, you know, all the things I've done, I'm always building upon things that other people have done. So the modules on this, you know, it was designed by other people and then I'm able to leverage what they've done. So I think the key to open source hardware is it's about um, enabling collaborative development. So um, if I design a project, I'm, I, I want to release it as open source hardware so other people can take my project and then build upon it and even contribute back improvements to my project um, and also give me ideas for what they do. So um, our customers, a lot of our customers do open hardware projects or open source hardware projects and it's really great to see um, how one project might build upon another project. Um, I don't have it with me right now, but one of our customers recently did a board with e-paper and I saw that and it was open source hardware and I took that idea and I built upon it. So I'm going to do kind of a new version of this badge with e-paper like a, like a Kindle. So. Um, basically, it's great to, instead of having to do everything on your own every time, you can basically leverage, and with the internet, you can leverage like everyone in the world to develop hardware projects together. The best example, I think, the, the, the best example of open source hardware is Arduino. So Arduino was a platform created at a small school in Italy uh, for just a few, few classes, but it was open source, and it was good enough and easy enough to use that it caught caught fire and now there's hundreds of different derivatives of it because it's open source hardware people have taken it they've turned it into like the board that's in pretty much every 3d printer is based on an arduino yeah. uh, robotics motor control science pretty much everything you can think of there's an arduino derivative for it um, and it all comes back from the point of that it was open source hardware so the schematics were available the PCB layout, how the PCB works, the circuit board works, and also the bill of materials, the parts that were in it were all available. And it made it easy for people to then take it and modify it and then use it for their own needs. So that's kind of like the core um, value of uh, open, open source hardware. hardware. Yeah. When you say to the people in the Salvador, we are making more stuff, why we need to message for all the Salvadorian people in, in the community right now? Um, really excited to find out people are passionate about free software and also open source in El Salvador and uh, would love to see the sort of projects you guys are doing and with the internet you know we can all work together on projects you know it's not really a barrier so um, I really like Hackaday.io I think it's a really great website for sharing projects and also asking people for ideas and then incorporating those ideas into your project so um, hopefully we can uh, connect on one of those sorts of platforms and actually work on some hardware projects together um, but um, it was awesome to find out there's people that are just as a, just as passionate about open source and free software in El Salvador is here. We'll see you in the next video. Nos vemos en el siguiente video.